We're in the heat of midterm election season, which means you're probably seeing campaign ads everywhere. One of our viewers, Teresa, had a question about music used in those commercials. Do candidates always need to get permission from musical artists to use their songs in ads? Teresa, let's verify. Our sources are the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers, or ASCAP, and Daniel Schacht, a music law attorney. In the US, music is protected by copyright. If you want to use a song in an ad, you need to get a license. And just like the Grammys have separate awards for the songwriting process and the performance piece of that song, music licenses are similar. There's the copyright to the recording itself. Whoever performed the recording or the record label will own that specific recording. And then whoever wrote the music, there's a comp composition copyright. So the songwriters will typically own that. Fights and delivers for our district. To use music in a campaign ad or any other video, you've got to get both licenses. ASCAP says to get them, campaigns have to reach out to whoever holds the rights for individual songs. So who is that? Well, it depends. Some musicians hold all their rights. Some share them with labels or co-writers. Others have sold their rights away entirely. If the artist still owns their rights, then yes, a campaign would need their approval to use a song. If they don't own them, it's up to whoever does. So although many artists have a say in who can get to use their music, we can verify, no, candidates don't always need permission from musicians to use their songs in ads. They only need to obtain a license, which can be controlled by anyone. Although it is often the artist. With your Verify, I'm Casey Decker.